it. We are down to the final 24 hours of 10 times entries to win our C7 Corvette plus $15,000 in cash. Not only are you gonna be able to take home this car, you'll be able to throw $15,000 in your bank account to use on, well, whatever you'd like. But the car itself is pretty much done. This thing is completely built. You guys are gonna see in this video everything about our giveaway car being built through CSP. And I really, really wanna give a huge shout out to those guys for squeezing us in and getting this all taken care of. The car is a freaking riot now. We've had it back for a few days. All I wanted to let you guys know though, it's 10 times entries is live right now. Don't forget only 24 hours remain and with that being said guys let's jump into today's video I think it's a new five. Yeah. Andrew says 500 pump gas in eight I'm gonna guess 505 meanwhile we've been over here working on dynoing the uh <laughs> the ZL1 Johnny's been making a lot of progress on the Corvette oh that's looking yeah, that's good cool. Damn. So huge thanks to Corsa Performance. They sent over this red carbon intake. This looks fucking sick on this car, dude. Yeah, super cool. The Atomic Air Force intake manifold, and of course we upgraded to the MSD plug wires. We got our Corsa headers down there, Corsa exhaust all the way back. It really looks amazing with that red interior. Though. Mr. Johnny is in here in the fender working on the flex fuel sensor and the flex fuel kit over here. So we are gonna actually have working active flex fuel. So we'll be able to run 93 pump gas or go up to a pump and run E85 and the car will basically adjust power accordingly. So pretty nice, pretty fancy. Haven't had a true flex fuel car before until the Motec GT350. So this is gonna be a pretty cool setup seeing on a stock PCM So He's almost got this thing wrapped up. And while we got the fender off and everything, the bumper's off and out of the way. Finally, it is time to get these stock headlights out of here. And we are gonna be replacing them with this gorgeous set of Morimoto. Check these out, oh my God. These Morimoto C7 headlights. So these are from the Retrofit source. If you guys want, you can use this code and go shop with them. But we are about to check out these new headlights and let's go. Ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna set both of these up side by side. So that way you guys can see a good comparison of factory to these new Morimotos. The factory headlights on the left, the new Morimoto headlights on the right. As you see, rather than just having that one little boomerang there we've got like a Y shape as well as these really cool oh my god that's so cool. Jesus dude this is the first set that I've gotten to see brand new in person but as you guys know these are the same headlights so Justin actually has an overkill and they look amazing dude it's a really nice upgrade especially from these factory lights just looks amazing very nice these headlights are so sick dude let me come open it for you I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do it so polite oh my lady welcome back yep back again we have checked into another hotel. Well, this should be the last one. Oh, it, uh, it is gonna be the last one. We'll be believe. back. We'll be back soon, I'm sure. We're happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> we had to bring over the uh, HP tuners cable. Because it is about time. We're getting ready to start up the C7 for the first time and hear this thing with this new cam. Ready? Ready. All right, well, I'm not, so give me like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We doing this. I literally just jumped. Oh my goodness. What the f what? I can't even look at this car the same now. Very f***ing sick, man. Thanks, man. It is so quiet now. That is crazy. So quiet. Oh my god. Sounds good, man. And this just blows my mind. Wow. See, I didn't even know that you could get to that screen right there, that sound manager. So screen. normally I leave it tied to the mode and then tour yeah. mode will be quiet. Yeah. But this is my favorite. Yeah, that's cool. Since working on your car down in Louisiana, yeah. 
the Corsa uh, dual mode is my favorite exhaust. It really is, dude. They are awesome. Like, it is my favorite by far. I, I used to hate Corsa because it was just like obscenely loud. Yeah. It never droned, so yeah. that was great. Like if you wanted it loud, you got it. But yeah. they nailed it with their dual mode. Like, yeah. obscenely loud and quiet. Yeah. Wow. Like, wow. Push of a button. It really is insane, dude. Camaro. I know. And a cammed Corvette. Now. I know. I can't even believe that shit. That's what we're about to be rolling around Atlanta in. I was telling her, I was like, I can't wait for us to be able to go on our first little like date or trip or whatever. You get to take the Corvette, I'll take the Camaro. Go chop down the block somewhere. It's crazy. But anyway, today we are pretty much wrapped up. We are headed out right now back to our hotel tomorrow morning. We gotta be up here early. Tomorrow is our last day at CSP, which means that we are gonna be dynoing the C7, figuring out what kind of power that that thing makes in a, I'm hoping it makes anywhere near 500 to the wheel. That'd be really cool. That'd be really, really crazy, honestly. That car is gonna be pretty spicy when it comes back. But anyway, we'll see you guys in the morning. Ooh, snap. Ooh. Looks like we have arrived just in time. Good morning. How are you? Like we, we, we uh, we, we dressed accordingly. Accordingly. Yeah, yeah, we yeah accordingly. that's so nice. Look at us. Yeah. Hey guys, Mr. Eric with the C8 that you guys saw that I went and rode in. Super crazy car. Uh, he's going to be tuning the C7 today, so we've got it already loaded up on the dyno, as you see. From CSP, we've got their CSP big boy cam in here, so this is a very large camshaft. This car has also got a flex fuel sensor in it now, so we'll be able to run E85 or 93 pretty much seamlessly. You pump in whatever, it'll automatically compensate for it. We've also got the Atomic Air Force intake up there, which I believe is by MSD. We've got MSD plug wire, and also as well, our course of performance red carbon intake over there. This particular setup, I don't believe has ever been done so far. The Corsa with this cam and this intake and all of that stuff. So it should be interesting. It's, it's hard to really guess what kind of power it's going to make. I'm, I'm going to guess, if I had to guess, honestly, on pump gas today before we swap fuels, we're probably going to make 450 to 475 to the wheel. That's what I'm going to guess. For now, let's get into this. very first full pull. So <laughs> I guess it's gonna take a lot of power today. And we've still got to swap over to E85 later on this afternoon after we get back for street testing the ZL1. So it's probably gonna make a, a good 5.30 today on E. That is insane. All right, this thing did pretty damn well. The first full pull, you made a few changes to tune, and now we're gonna run it back and see what it does this time. I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty damn good. Oh my god, dude. Oh my goodness. 490 wheel horsepower and 430 foot pounds of torque. Oh my god, not bad, dude. Good broad power, too. Not bad. I like this cam. insane for stock heads on a car man 440 foot pounds of torque and 
basically right at 500 wheel horsepower. And this car only has the CSP big boy cam. We've got Corsa headers, Corsa exhaust, a Corsa intake, and a manifold. Other than that, we're just making good power just like that. It's pretty damn cool, man. That cam actually is doing work. Like, it really is. For being on stock heads and everything, that's impressive to see. Yeah, yeah. and you know what? The best part is it drives really nice. It's going to drive yeah. the same yeah. as your that is crazy. Uh, cap in. So yeah. That's great because it doesn't ruin the car. A lot yeah. of people put a cam in, they're like, I want the stage 69 yeah. cam sound. Yeah. And then, and then they find out they got fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is that what happened with you in the wagon, basically? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I Myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's been floating back and forth. Johnny's the one that built it. He's been floating around trying to make sure everything's good. He's got a car that he's working on over there, but he's like yeah. walking back and forth just making sure. So Johnny, who built the car, um, he gets scared really easy, and so he's in the bathroom right now. And Andrew's gonna scare him when he comes out. <laughs> trying to make it look like I'm just holding this casually. Yeah, it's taking a while. It's a good arm workout though. Everybody's looking at each other. He's in the car waiting. He's looking. <laughs> He's hiding behind the door. I don't know what day it is. I'm afraid of it. Hey, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I like how he did the whole. <laughs> he like let something loose with that. I can't wait until we have a compilation of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this should make 500. All this. I need, I really need these. Two more? This car is honestly, truly way louder than what I was expecting it to be. A few weeks ago, whenever we had first put on the Corsa exhaust, it really wasn't even that bad because it was just the axle back. But once we did the headers and everything, it is so loud. That's still honestly insane. You didn't want to give it away now. I know, I, I didn't want to give it away from day one to be honest, but now it's getting much worse. Pump gas is finished up, E85 after lunch. What do you think it'll do on E if it's doing that on pump so far? At at least 25. Really? Mm -hmm. Cool. Did you guys look sick. at the internet numbers yet? The internet numbers? No, we hadn't checked those out. STD coming out. Oh yeah, those are good. I want to let me go. That's good. There's your internet numbers. Meanwhile. So as part of the ASS program, uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll call I it do the like ASS that. program. I you really should, that. Andrew's Secret Sauce. Yeah. I really, I really like it a lot. It's very marketable. Okay, so yeah. I've limited the power in first gear to uh, 450 torque. Okay. No way! What the hell? So second gear. It's definitely more in second. So much very very nice work sir very thank nice you. Work. thanks for the opportunity absolutely it's always a pleasure working with you i doubt it'll be the can't last. say anything about like this guy <laughs> Sorry, first of all we don't even work on my car anymore <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we've got E85 loaded up into the car, so now we're about to get started dyno tuning the C7 on E85. We made just under 500 wheel horsepower on 93 octane. This time around, we're expecting to pick up about 25 more horsepower at the wheel just from changing fuels 
we're gonna check it out and see what it does. Make sure everything's good, and if so, we're gonna be able to take this thing out on the street next and do some street tuning with it. We're gonna go out to do street tuning in this, and it's gonna look so boring compared to the ZL1. We're in the ZL1, literally like, ah! Full tires spinning everywhere. So usually, we have a battle whether or not customers are gonna floor it leaving the parking lot. Yeah. And it's usually no, and all of a sudden we hear Andrew just floor it. <laughs> it's showtime. Seven wheel for the first run. Not too bad. My guess is like 520. 520 at the end? Yeah, Dude, that's pretty, pretty damn decent. now still in a I can't I can't get that that's so nuts I think the reason why it blows my mind so much is if you guys remember whenever this channel very first started a few years ago I had a fifth gen SS I mean it had a ported intake manifold ported throttle body big intake two inch runner headers heads were done I mean it was just like all kinds of stuff big giant can almost to the point where I couldn't even drive the car and that car still made 505 <laughs> at its best and now with these new LT1s and all this direct injection and stuff, it actually just, it really just blows my mind, honestly, how well they work. So here we have it guys. This is what our final graph looks like. Great power man, looks awesome. We've got 499 horsepower to the wheel on 93 octane and swapped over to E85. We're gonna make 527, just under 527 to the wheel. Not bad at all for just swapping fuel, man. That is pretty impressive. Very nice work. Yes, sir. I know y'all do this all the time, but this is my first time getting to see a car make that much power. It's NA. always fun seeing an NA build make more than 500. Yeah, that is just nuts to me. So Corvette is off the dyno, and we are about to go out and do some street tuning on it as well, just to make sure everything's good. And then after that, we'll get everything loaded up in the trailer and head out. Slight dip when I clutch in. 
that I want to get rid of? Yeah. Watch how close it is. <laughs> Andrew, come look. Uh, when you get back, it will have moved uh, back just enough. Not that's that that is car guy anxiety. Right there. No, when it shifts you during travel, you're going to be. Captain, I'd like to see back. Yeah, soon. he has welcome invitation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's like a Magnuson sitting with its name on it. I do have a stroker here, too, by what? the way. You didn't tell me that last week. Maybe I should have. Yeah, you should have. That could have changed yeah. a lot, actually. You know what, maybe? I ain't even gonna lie. If you would have told me that, I would have been like. If you blow it up, then it's ready. Yeah. Okay. Unless I use it on something. Noted. Like my CTSB. Noted. <laughs> what do you have it filled up to? 50. It should say on the trailer when you're. Okay. I guess I'll run them at 80. This is why. <laughs> this is why what, Andrew? You should trust your tuner. We heard that once before. <laughs> yep. Actually, a couple But make times. sure that the tires, I mean, the tires should say. Nope, you said 80. <laughs> 80. That says a max of 80. <laughs> cold 80. A max cold. Yeah, so. Ah, 75. Yeah, we'll do 70. That's probably why they've been blowing out then. This one's gonna be the next one to blow out. Mark my words on video. Why would you say that? All right, well, now you got me feeling bad, so I'll do 70. Should I do, you, you want me to do 75? I think you should do 75. All right, I'll do it. If it does better from now on, I'll thank you. But if we have a blowout, I'll be like, damn it, Andrew. I am actually going to test the mileage though, because I know what we got on the way here, and we'll test it with our newly inflated tires. <laughs> and we're going to see. Mr. Johnny, I will see you later. Yeah. Have a good afternoon. Thank fun, you so dude. much, man. I Great meeting you. Yeah, you as well, dude. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Andrew, so nice to meet you, dude. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. Forgot about you at the YouTube call out that time. <laughs> the time that you <laughs> See you later, dude. We headed out. All right, man. Hopefully, see you soon. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for all the work. Enjoy everything. the car, man. Definitely kick Enjoy ass. It. I appreciate it. Taking off. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you for a spicy tune. Thanks for coming it. up. See you later, dude. See you, man. See you later. Safe. Hopefully soon, we'll come back up here for a Maggie. Yeah, Ooh, that is cold. And off we go. Can't hang around us. We'll hang around dumb dude. I'm gonna put this on YouTube before you. Go ahead. <laughs> it's gonna be in the middle of the whole cinematic sequence of everything's all dramatic and then it's gonna cut to your feet just <laughs> in, in sandals. Chase Rex catch commas, done dodge.